Hey guys, BG Mike here. It's time to get real spooky once again. Today we are back reacting to Llama Arts. Now, if you don't know who they are, they make these really awesome animations about horror kinds of things. I'm telling you, it gets really spooky. Last episode, it freaked me out. It really did, guys. So don't forget to check out Llama Arts down below because we are reacting to their kind of stuff. Their stuff. All right, so first on the list, we're gonna react to True Home Alone Stories Episode 2. We did laugh the, the first one last episode, but I don't know. What is True Stories? That, you know, it gets really real. And that's when it's extra scary. So that's, I thought it's a good one to start with. This story is from the point of view of a 16 year old girl. I used to have a boy living next door to me that was obsessed with me. His name was Joey. Every time I would go out- Get her ads. I mean, I'm really happy for you, Llama Arts. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. You, des you deserve it. Come on. Boy so we have a stalker. Was obsessed That's with a me. good start. His name was Joey. Every time I would go outside, Joey would come outside as well, as if he were watching me through his windows, waiting for me. He was 17 and very weird, and he didn't seem to have any friends, as he was always home. I tried to give every sign possible that I didn't like Oh my like god! This That's so creepy! Well, it's no wonder why Joey doesn't have any friends. Like, you know, he starts to make a friend. He's like, hey, come over. And then, you know, they start, you know, they, they open up the gate and they start walking up. And he, he, he opens up his little, opens up his blinds. He's like, hi. It ain't no wonder why they don't come back. All right? I tried to give every sign possible that I didn't like this guy, but he wouldn't get the message. So I had to finally just tell him one day that I don't like him and to leave me alone. Oh man. The look on his face that day is something that won't leave it's me. It's like Gohan a little bit. It was Am the I kind of angry look a toddler no. gives their parents when they can't have a toy. Coming from a 17 year old, that's much more disturbing. One night, my parents left me to watch the house. I was working on a school oh, no. project when I felt my bed shift a little bit. Oh no! <laughs> You know, there could have been a million possibilities, I think, that, that, you know, a million different turns that this could have taken. I didn't expect the guy to be under the freaking bed! That is terrifying! Honestly, though, I gotta go back. He looks like a, like he's a Saiyan. I, for a character from Dragon Ball Z. He's gonna go Super Saiyan. That's what he's gonna do. You don't like me! <laughs> One night, my parents left me to watch the house. I was working on a school project when I felt my bed shift a little bit. I looked under my bed. Oh, oh my god, why did, it, why did it scare me so bad? Oh my god, I'm sorry. It scared me really bad. Under my bed. Oh god. I screamed as I saw Joey laying under my bed. Joey! I ran away while he tried to crawl out from under my bed. <laughs> why does he have to be so creepy I ran to about his it? house and rang the bell at least ten times, telling his parents about it when they opened the door. Oh Joey. no, no, don't go to his parents. His parents are the reason why he's so creepy. You know, you gotta think about these kind of things, alright? <laughs> as she's running up there, they open up. Hi. <laughs> rang the bell at least 10 times, telling his parents about it when they opened the door. Joey never came out of my house, so I called the police. His parents begged me not to, but I ignored them. The it, police you know, found him still in my room and arrested him. Apparently, he admitted this wasn't the first time he had hid under my bed. They also found pictures of me scattered across his oh. room. Oh, the no. The most disturbing one was of me sleeping, and it was taken from inside my room. Oh god, that looks- I don't know, the picture itself looks scary. <laughs> Sorry, no offense, girl. Oh man, that's so creepy. First of all, how is he getting in the house? You know, maybe lock your doors. I think that's like the error here, is everyone needs to start locking their doors and a lot- there'd be a lot less creepy stuff happening. That was pretty good. That was really, really creepy, guys. The next one we're gonna look at is Disturbing True Snapchat Stories Animated. Who uses Snapchat anymore? I mean, granted, this was 10 months ago. Um, yeah, like, I feel like who- oh, I, everyone uses Instagram now. <laughs> Snapchat was so popular. I don't know what happened there. Hi. <laughs> That's what you'll see on my Instagram. Disturbing true Snapchat stories. Okay. This happened a week ago. Up until a few days ago, I went to a small local gym in my now previous New Jersey town called Black Bear Fitness. Black Bear Fitness. One day, I had the misfortune of running wait, wait, into no, some- no, I wanna read- I wanna read that what that says. We can turn that Frankenstein you see in the mirror every morning into a Franken- Fine, boy! That's it. Here. I, I was- it's a- Knee slapper. You know, I don't know what's gonna happen in this at all, but I got a feeling he's gonna be uh, the the source of the horridness. I mean, look at his feet. What is he doing? He's been walking in the mud in his sandals with his socks. Now, previous New Jersey town called Black Bear Fitness. 
One day, I had the misfortune of running into some skinny, awkward, yet creepy looking kid, probably 18 years old. Who's the, the main character? He didn't look like he belonged in a gym at all. Yeah. I had headphones in and I was doing my oh, set when I heard him see. saying something to me, but it was muffled by the music. Okay, I go to the gym regularly, all right? I, can you tell? It's a joke. I don't, I'm really not that full of myself. But, like, it's so annoying when people start talking to you with the headphones. Like, I feel like, for me personally, if I have headphones in, that's a sign that I don't want you to talk to me. Unless... Like, it's, you know, it's really important, I guess. But I'm just saying, it's really annoying, okay? Don't, you shouldn't even be talking at the gym, like, a lot. At least, if you're gonna talk, work out at the same time. It's so annoying when people just sit there on their phone on a machine. Get off of it! I was already annoyed with this kid, given that he was breaking an unwritten rule of the gym. Don't try to talk to somebody when they're doing their set. Exactly! You don't have to be stuck with what you got. Man, <laughs> Llama Art's just with these inspirational quotes, man. I was already annoyed with this kid, given that he was breaking an unwritten rule of the gym. Don't try to talk to somebody when they're doing their sets. I took my time finishing my set, and then took my headphones out to ask if he so needed annoyed. something. He's so annoyed. Then he started acting like I looked familiar, but right away I knew this kid was just trying some pathetic attempt at making friends. I assured him I didn't, but the kid wouldn't stop talking to me. Well, now I felt bad for this kid. I'll skip most of the conversation, but eventually he actually asked me for my Instagram and Snapchat. Weirdly enough, oh, and for oh, whatever reason, okay. I gave them to him. I see where this is Instead going. Instead of just saying something like, buddy, I'm trying to work out, or I don't have social media. After yeah. I gave him my Snapchat and Instagram, however, I did kind of urge him to let me resume my workout. He finally seemed to get the message and walked away. You would think that people like have common sense and you know, they don't, a lot of people don't. That's one thing you'll be surprised uh, or not shocked about is a lot of people, when you think that like, yeah, you should just understand that, hey, I don't want to be bothered. They don't understand. Uh, it's, I guess we all just kind of think differently. But anyone walking in the gym with freaking those, the whatever the heck he's wearing, like, he, that's weird. So he felt pressured to give him his Snapchat and Instagram. Like, I get it. Yeah, it's like, it's it's weird. I don't know. I have been in that situation where, like, a person is just, like, kind of overbearing and it's like, well, I don't really know you, but you're treating me like I do know you. You know, I don't know. It, it takes me a little bit to warm up to people. He finally seemed to get the message and walked away. Not without saying bye, like, three times, though. The heck? That He's night, like I got a snap on my phone Sorry. saying, from Sean. I immediately sighed and said, oh, no. Just wondering why the hell the kid would snap me. I opened the snap, oh! and the kid was in a creepy, weird pose, face way too close to the camera, oh my God. with his head resting in his hand. Is this how Momo was created? That's that's it. <laughs> Momo was just feeling herself, right? S snapped a picture real close, and that's why it, it looks so much like it. It's the Momo pose, you know? Hi, girl. <laughs> you like what you see? <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> it says it's true. Uh, so, I'm guessing that this person is really, really awkward and they just don't know how to make friends. And the reason, like, the, and the, the crazy part about it is that the reason why they don't have friends is because they're so weird. And maybe they just don't see it. So they just keep uh, in the same cycle of trying to make friends as they're, you know, being really, really weird to people. You gotta, you have to understand, it's like if something just keeps not working, there's a reason for it. With his head resting in his hand and a half smile on his face. The text over the picture was, hey, with hey. two Y's. I <laughs> muttered the guy. words, what the f <laughs> For the record, I'm a guy, which made this even more weird. My thought process was, I've had enough of this loser already. I'm gonna remove him and make it clear I don't want to talk if I see him at the gym again. Mm. And so I did. That's I tough, removed him minutes yeah. after he sent that snap. Wow, that's a nice television show. Oh, no. I'm sure not Why? even a minute later. Again, a message popped up on my phone. It's making me really nervous the fact that they're showing this house in the background. Like, I feel like this is a... They're, they're, they're intentionally trying to add this, and I don't know why. So I, <laughs> he probably lives right here. <laughs> Again, a message popped up on my phone saying Snapchat from Sean. I waited a few don't minutes before open it. opening it. Don't open it. This one was even creepier. Now the kid was sitting up on his bed. No smile, more oh of a God. surprised, angry expression. What did you remember? The text me? over the image said, Sounds like people that try to add me on Roblox. <laughs> this is what they look like. What did you remove me? I want to know why there's a school in the background and also why is he now jacked? I guess those gym sessions are really paying off. Because he seriously looks scary now. Again, and surprisingly, she's still like Momo. Like, I'm still getting some major Momo vibes from him. You know, it's just replacing WhatsApp with. Snapchat, really, it's all, it's all we're doing. This one was even creepier. Now the kid was sitting up on his bed. No smile, more of a surprised, angry expression. The text over the image said, Why did you remove me? 
now I went as far as to block him, meaning he couldn't snap me anymore. Yeah, that's what I would do. That was that. I threw my phone on the desk and sighed out of relief. I mean, yeah, it's gone, right? He's not gonna come back. I'm sure he won't. Half an hour later, my phone goes off, saying Sean added you as a friend, and then Snapchat from Sean. What? He actually made a new account. Oh no! Oh, I opened no. the snap and felt my heart drop. It was a picture of my front lawn. Oh the text my. over it, oh. answer me, <laughs> oh. <laughs> It reminds me of that meme. Um, I'm not gonna say it because it demonetized purposes, but I think you guys know where I'm going with the, the meme. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's, uh, he lives across the street. What are the freaking odds of that? I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was a reason why they were showing the, the other house. Like, I understood that it had to. That is so creepy. And what are the odds that this freaking annoying guy just has to live across the street? What are the odds of that? The first thing I could think of was, how did he find my address? Yeah. Then I realized, Snapchat made that new map feature that lets you see where your friends are. Oh, crap. Somehow, I had the balls to open the oh. window to see outside. It was clear out there. I shut the window and the blinds and started considering calling hey, 911. You gotta use those gains that you've been getting. You gotta use those gains. Oh, no. It was the sound of taps on the window. I took a deep breath, and with one knock, swift okay. motion, I pulled up the blind and the window at the same time, and pulled the kid oh! into my room by his neck. Wait, wait, whoa! <laughs> that escalated so quickly, holy crap, how did he know? So here taps on the window, dear god. That, that went so fast, so quick. I mean, I said he used those gains, and he's doing it, okay, he's doing swift it. Swift motion, I pulled up the blind and the window at the same time, and pulled the kid into my room by his neck. I punched oh. him in the face a few times before he was out cold. Oh, dang. Now I called 911. By the time they arrived, he was awake, cursing me out, promising he'd be back and kill me. The cops heard it all. I didn't even have to make a case. The kid was an idiot. Luckily, the timing of this worked out well because I just moved a couple days ago out of state. Oh, thank God. <laughs> ah, so happy for you. That's so creepy though, like. I don't, I don't know, this story feels a little too convenient. I'm not sure where these stories actually come from, but, you know, no, nonetheless, it's still creepy. Uh, whether if it's true or not. Like, that's up to the listener, the, the watcher of the video, I guess, but it's not really that important. Only thing that worries me, I don't want to have to make a new Snapchat account. But anytime somebody new adds me on the app, Ooh. I'll never know if it's Zero, one, one, one. Oh, now I want to know what that means. <laughs> I was cut off, though. Sean kid again. Screw you, Sean, all right? All right, the next one we're going to react to is called True Home Alone Stories 3 Animated. I'm not sure if we've seen any of these before, but, uh, hey, let's start from three. I don't think it actually matters, does it? Being home alone is really scary. It definitely can be. I don't know how people can live alone in, in the mountains. My grandpa actually lives alone in the mountains, and that's terrifying to me. I don't think I could actually do it. I recently moved out, and I already have a horror story to tell. Oh, the man. house I moved into isn't anything impressive, it's just a house that's, that's appropriate a, for one or two people. That's a nice house though. But I'd say right away, I started hearing weird sounds coming from inside the walls. I first heard it in the kitchen, and then in the bathroom. Oh my god, but so on night relatable. three, I started hearing it in my bedroom. I was sure there was some kind of animal living in my walls. I just had to figure out how to get rid of it. Just get a bat and freaking knuck all in the wall. Honestly though, this is so relatable. I, I always hear noises. It's usually when the air conditioner comes on, but it always freaks me out. I still like, I always think like, oh, is there someone in the backyard? Oh, what, what's going on here? And the roof for some reason makes a lot of noises. It's terrifying. The next morning, I didn't even have enough milk to fill the bowl of cereal. I couldn't believe I hadn't realized I needed more milk. What's wrong with you? In fact, I seemed to be eating up all of my food pretty fast. Oh no. Oh no. I woke up in the middle of that night to the sound of breathing. I didn't even catch that, man. Dig it. It's If anything is a horror story, it's not having enough milk for your cereal. It's the most let down feeling of, of like, ever. Cereal is life, okay? But someone's been eating his food. That's terrifying. I woke up in the middle of that night to the sound of breathing. Not my breathing. It, oh, no. it sounded just like the breathing of a person. I flipped the lamp on and it stopped. I chalked it up as my mind playing tricks on me after waking up. Yeah, you never know. He's got a the pool next in the back. The was really hot, so I turned <laughs> on the AC for back. the first time. It's a two-bedroom house. It's free. It's got a pool in the back. I checked every single vent, and some of them weren't blowing any air. One of them being the vent right next to my bed. I peered through the vent with a flashlight. 
There wasn't even a duct behind the vent. What? It was just the inside of the wall. It seemed... Got me freaking questioning my vents now. Actually, it gets so hot in this room, I do question whether or not that freaking vent up there even works. So why am I even paying rent for it, huh? My ducks don't work. I don't know, this story's starting to remind me of like those people that live inside of Walmarts and crap, like in the gigantic toilet paper uh, stack. Like they'll hollow it, they'll like hollow it out and stuff like that and like they'll live but I don't know they just live in stores people actually do that. That's insane. They just hide from people like could could you imagine that? That's insane like I you have all kinds of food vent. though. So that's what seems like it's I happening here. I the vent with a flashlight. There wasn't even a duct behind the vent. It was just the inside of the wall. It seemed that whatever air duct was in there had been removed. Unfortunately, I didn't look into the air conditioning system while buying the house. So I didn't know about this. Wait, that buy, night, buying the house? They actually, he bought this house. Okay, so that makes things actually a lot more serious because he's not renting. You can't just call up the landlord and say, hey, my ducks are gone. Your ducks? I didn't know you own ducks. You're not allowed to own ducks. <laughs> no, my, my air ducts. Dude. That night, I had to sleep in the heat with no AC. So I was up pretty late, constantly rolling around and flipping the pillow over. Yeah, that sucks. Then I eventually started to hear the breathing again. But this time, I was fully awake. Well, whoever's in your was real walls this time. hot as crap. <laughs> it was coming to my left. I looked to my left at the air vents. The sound was surely coming from in there. I grabbed the flashlight again and shined it in through the vent. I dropped it and screamed. There was someone's face peering through the cracks of the vents. Oh. The first thing I saw were their eyes, open wide and glowing. I screamed all the way down and out the house. I was like, do you go I back to sleep? I soon found out there was a crazy, dangerous homeless man living in my walls, and he had been eating my food ever since I moved in. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? He's like, I don't like crust. <laughs> Today's Squirp of the Day goes to... Mythicality Wolf. I'm spoiled, but not rude. Kinda spoiled. Hey, thanks for being honest. You know, I think honesty is so important, okay? This was referring to the last video that we made yesterday, I believe, of reacting to the spoiled children on Gotcha... Gotcha Verse and Gotcha Studio. I don't know why, I couldn't remember that. Mythicality, thank you so much for watching, and guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Llama Arts down below. Seriously, their animations are absolutely, like, so, like, I mean, you see. They're so engaging and so creepy. Again, I just think it was such a good idea for this channel to, like, animate these things, and, uh, you can tell people really, really love them, guys. So please, hit that subscribe button on Llama Arts, alright? And check out, and just binge watch all their videos, you know? They don't have a ton of videos, because obviously, animation takes a long time, but... Uh, you will not regret subscribing. Sorry for the nightmares, too. Why can't I do it, please, you mother? The best boss episode, screw you. Why can't I do it, please, you mother? And I think it's in the show. Yeah, dance while you can. Because you won't be dancing very long. Why can't I do it, please, you mother? The best boss episode, screw you. I swear it in TV, it has something to do with this. I'm going to tilt it. I wasn't planning on it.